Good morning. All of you looks beautiful and happy. Today I'm going to talk to you about orgasm world which I have decided to build that. Now what does this mean orgasm world? This body is totally orgasmic. It is a one piece. Unfortunately, we have divided this body. Let me share you how I came with this idea. I left this country after finishing my medical school in 1966 after finishing from Mulan Azad Medical College. In 1967 of March, I was in the United States with my brother. And I remember our father visited us in September, end of September of, of 1970, 1971. First October, the Disney World opened in Orlando, Florida. So we were there on the 4th and we stayed in the mainstream and I saw the Disney World. My father was with me, my brother was with me. And later on, we moved to Florida from, we were living in Michigan, and I used to take my kids every week practically to Disney World. It's an amusement park, it's an entertainment, and it's beautiful. The Disney has done a great job. With my all education and paraphernalias, I start looking at this human body. And it is about, I say about one and a half year or two years ago, after the death of my father, which was 1995, then my mother died and I started coming to India. And I'm visiting every time and I look like this has become like a United States. Highways are there, five-star hotels are there. Because when I was there, there was nothing except the field. We, should, we used to take a path outside. Even you had to go, we used to go bathroom outside. So you can see the material world has changed totally the India, the mother India. The first movie I saw was a mother India. It was a Nargis, beautiful movie. And I wrote on the first book, the Kama Sutra Yoga. Then the second book I wrote, that is when the president, this new president, the Donald Trump, I predicted that he's going to win. And I write, wrote a book on him called The Prescription for Conditioned Unconsciousness. We are sleeping. We are not awake. We only have a consciousness of 5 to 10 percent. It is because of a mind, we have a mind phenomena. We are different from the animals. Animals don't have a mind phenomena because they are horizontal. We are upstanding vertically. So the blood flows less. So the nature and the creator and the creation has given us a mind phenomenon. So we are totally conditioned. Just like I became a doctor, somebody become an engineer, somebody become an architect. And they are all conditioning. We are all conditioned. And we think we know everything. We don't know nothing. And I keep looking. My father was a yogi. And he wanted me to become a yogi. And I could not figure out what is he talking. And I tell you, when I come to India, I land on the Indira Gandhi airport and I go to Shishgan Gurdwara because my father used to take me there when I was 15 years of age. And I sit there and I listen and I feel like my papa is sitting next to me. And I'm looking my body is a one piece. And that's where I start looking that we need to build an orgasm world. Because this is a one piece. It is nothing to do with the sex. Sex is only in the mind. Our mind can never be in the present. Mind is always running in the future and the past. Is the body is always in the present. And so my aim is to build the orgasm world for the new generation. The reason is because 
the human body anatomically, physiologically, biologically, immunologically, even pathologically is a super intelligent. It has a self-induced healing. And we are creating all the what you call that material world and we have forgotten about the non-material world. That non-material world is a life. A real life. That's what we all have. This material life is giving us a lot of what you call that comfort but we have run away from the running away from this body itself. This sophisticated body has produced what we call the biggest disease is cancer. And now we have developed all the degenerative diseases, diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's, and so on, all these. So my object is to build the orgasm world where we are, sh we are developing the anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, forensic medicine, and then we're talking about every drug, we're talking about every disease, we're talking about all the biological drugs. So the new generation should understand and respect this body. It has six, more than 600 trillion cells. To build this body on the, on the ground, it requires a 15 acres of land. And still we talk, it won't be that talking, just like I'm talking to you. And we should respect this body. This is a temple. This is a masjid. This is a gurdwara. And it's a church. We are using a different language. We are using a different language because we are conditioned. We are born in that house. And that's why we have developed that name, whatever religion will be called. But we all are human beings. We all are life, which is vibrating and pulsating at a cellular level. And we are creating a disease. And disease is because I say, I, that's why the disease is there. So we literally have gone away from our body. We are just taking our senses and get up in the morning and looking for a dollar sign. A dollar sign to make as much money as possible, collect as much material as possible. But this unlimited infinity which is given to us just like a tree because every hair on our body is like a leaf and these two legs are the pillars and I'm learning every day and my aim is to show the young children the new generation respect this body you can live I've written the book more than 165 years and people are living now even in Hansa more than 150 years because they're living with the law of nature so we are going to depict this body, we're going to show this body and every disease, their cause, and we, we'll talk about every nutrition, we'll talk about all the herbal things, we'll talk about allopathy, we'll talk about Ayurveda, homeopathy, yoga, and so on. But our aim is to put this body together as a one piece because it's all connected. You cannot separate it. Everything is connected. If you look at your heart, your heart is connected with this tip of the finger because the blood is coming. But the cardiologist thinks I'm a super specialist. And that is where we have run a problem. We have divided this body into so many specialists and super specialists. The doctor is also confused. The patient is confused. It is because of the conditioned unconsciousness. It is because of the mind phenomena. It is not their fault. And because they are totally con con conditioned. And they have to learn how to become deconditioned, transformation, and that is a radical transformation because the body is moving like a river. It's a floating. And if a child, children learn that, a new generation learns that, 
we'll have a better world, a peaceful world, a one world where there's no animosity and we all live peacefully and die peacefully. I thank you all. God bless. Namaste. Amen.